Hi, welcome back to the studio. Today I decided to play in my altered book art journal and I just went through and created a few background pages that I can do projects on top of and I just wanted to play a little bit and experiment a little bit so I thought I'd bring you along because I discovered kind of a cool technique new to me anyway regarding how it's done and with what. It kind of resembles alcohol ink but it's acrylic paint so come on along and I'll show you what I did. So this the first time I did this I um, just put down this Distress Oxide paint because I have a few of these and I don't use them very often so I thought well let me just grab this and start with this. And this was Broken China and then I grabbed this fairly dense brush that I have and it's, it's fairly wet. I mean it's moving the paint really easily and leaving the page totally glistening with water. So. That's key, I'm sure. Page needs to be pretty wet with the acrylic paint. And then I just dropped some fluid acrylic onto the page. My intention was that I was going to just scrape it across the page with a credit card. But when those halos started to happen, it just kind of took my breath away because it's like, well, this is really cool. So I grabbed a couple more colors. I think I have Prussian blue and carbon black. And you do want to make sure they're shook up really well. That first one, first drip of that black, well, I could tell by the viscosity that it, it wasn't mixed well enough. So then I just added a few more drops and kind of waited to see what those colors were going to do. Now this was this was the second time that I that I did this. The first time I did this, the picture that you saw in the intro, I wasn't filming. I was just playing in my art journal. And but when that happened, I thought, "Ooh, I have to try to do this again and show you guys." So this was the second one that I did. So as they sat, you can see the blue started to move out a little bit the black not so much so i just grabbed my fine mist spray bottle of water and just gave each little drop a spritz of water so and you can see when the light hits it it's the page is pretty wet and everything is moving pretty good so now i'm really getting excited because i'm loving what i see i wanted the blue to move a little bit so i wet that just a little bit more and then I just continued to dance back and forth between moving it around and letting it spread on its own and adding a little more water and blotting some of the water off. I was trying to be careful so that the water that was gathering at the edge of the page didn't um, seep into the pages underneath it because I didn't have a protective paper in between those pages which would have helped but I didn't anyways so then as the colors started to intermix I really really liked it so I thought well I need to keep moving it while it's still wet because it's going to start drying and then it's not going to move as much but I liked the black the black didn't spread as much but the way it mixed in with the other colors I really did like so um, I'm just getting ready to show you I think the the three colors that yeah the three colors that I used so there was carbon black Prussian blue and green gold all in the golden high flow acrylics which are really more kind of like inks than paint but they're a little more fluid than the fluid acrylics and then um, as you saw the background was the distress oxide paint in broken china so then I just grabbed my heat tool and I, I liked the way everything was as it sat but I wanted to start drying it off and I knew it was gonna move a little bit more as I dried it which it did but I tried to keep it pretty much 
the way it was as as it was sitting there drying and not move it too much more so I dried it off and I really like it so that's it really quick except for the drying time that was the longest but really easy um, it kind of reminds me of a cross between an acrylic pour and alcohol ink um, you just get these cool halo effects and intermixing of the colors and I just really like it a lot so this one right here on the left is the second one I did and I just did it with black and the green gold so that I didn't have so many spots but I wanted a two-page spread that kind of went together so I used that green and then I had flipped back there for a second to that first one that I did that I showed you in the very beginning and I'll put a still in here again of that one because that turned out really cool as well and I just went around those blooms if you will with some white gesso to kind of cover up the book text that was shown through because it was pictures of furniture and stuff okay so on to the second one I love crackles so I had bought this golden crackle paste but when it came and I read the directions it said that the maximum or the optimum drying time was three hours to three to four days well I don't have the patience to wait three hours let alone three or four days so I haven't used it very much I did a couple where I did try to dry it with a heat tool even though it says in the directions not to and for good reason because they failed no cracks it's good texture but I have texture paste for that so I thought all right let me revisit this and follow the directions so I'm just spreading some of this on the page with a, my palette knife and kind of trying to get some thicker areas and some thinner areas and some areas that you know just kind of thin out to nothing just to texture where I knew I probably wouldn't get much cracking uh, where I'm putting it on thicker I know I'm probably going to get wider thicker cracks and where it's thinner I'm going to get finer cracks which is good for me I like that the variation and I think it just looks more authentic so I put that on the left hand page and I should mention that all the pages the ones that I did with the acrylics previously as well as these all have a coat of fluid matte medium on them because I went through the book before I ever started and used fluid matte medium to glue two pages together to make the pages more sturdy so they already have a coat of fluid matte medium on them um, I think it it helps with the adhesion of things and it may have even helped with that acrylic spread that I showed you before but so anyways back to the crackle technique so I put the crackle the golden crackle paste on one page and I have a bottle of Josanya's crackle medium from years ago and there for a while I stopped using that and just went to the white glue method and so I still have some left so I decide okay let me test and see what's the difference between the two crackle mediums what am I what's the results of each of those so I just decided to put the Josanya crackle on the right hand page so the directions for the Josanya crackle medium say to lay down a medium to thick layer of acrylic paint first so I'm using the Arteza full body acrylic heavy body acrylic in yellow ochre just to cover that page and then I will dry that off with the heat tool before I apply the crackle medium
Okay, so the acrylic is all dry, and um, again, the directions say to apply a fairly thick layer of the crackle medium over the acrylic, the dried acrylic paint, and not to overbrush an area where it's already been applied. So I'm trying to go for a fairly thick application right from the beginning so I don't have to try to go back in and make it thicker and hence overbrush it. So just applying it directly to the page as you see there and just spreading it across. Going in one direction, I think that does affect the direction of your brush strokes affect the direction of the cracks. So I'm going horizontally there across the bottom and I went vertically in the middle and then horizontally again at the top. I'm just trying to cover all the real estate with the medium. Now comes the hard part of giving it all enough time to dry. The Josanya directions say that you can put a glaze or another color over the top of the dried medium that the crackles will begin as the material dries. It doesn't specify a drying time. The golden, however, like I said, said like something like three hours to three days. So I thought, all right, longest I can wait is three hours. So that's what I did. And there were sufficient cracks there, as you can see, with the golden crackle medium. Different sizes, just as I suspected. So I was really happy to see that. And the Josanya, I had to tip it into the light to be able to see the cracks, I think because just because of the color on the page. But sure enough, they were there too. So. I mixed some heavy body Payne's Gray acrylic with some fluid matte medium and I just started out almost dry brushing it and it just it wasn't thinned down enough with the acrylic um, matte medium so I added some more to get the paint moving some more. I wanted it thin enough to sink down into those cracks without having to work over it a ton because I didn't want to start disturbing that crackle paste. Um, it can be kind of fragile, and I know if you don't wait long enough for it to dry, it can crack right off the page, It'll just come off. So I didn't want to risk losing my crackle. So I just experimented and went until I thought that I had the right mixture of acrylic and matte medium. And when I hit that, magic feeling. I just went for it and just covered the whole page and you'll see here in a minute after I got the page covered I did go back in some areas and made it darker and just kind of varied the intensity of the paint. But I really loved this page. There were areas where there was no crackle medium and it just ended up looking like craters almost on the page and then thick cracks and thin cracks and more crack allure like really fine cracks so I got a real nice variety of crackles which I really liked so I'm not sure what I'll end up doing on top of this and you can see there are a few areas right there I'm trying to cover them up and I really shouldn't have worried about it because I like those red the red text that was on the page popping through here and there. And if I do a mixed media piece on top of this, chances are some of that will get covered up anyways. But I was kind of obsessed for a minute to try to cover up those red letters. But in the end, they still popped through and that was fine. So that was the results with the golden crackle paste. After about three hours, I didn't set a timer or anything, but I went off and did a different project and um, just kind of kept an eye on it. But I know it was at least three hours before I came back to this one and started to put the top coat on. So that's 
So once I was satisfied with the paint, I came back in with a damp baby wipe and just started to take some off here and there, lighten up certain areas just to get more variation in the intensity of the, of the paint color and kind of more of a broken paint effect because I think it just kind of naturally looks good with a crackle finish. So that's what I'm doing here. Just the paint's still wet and I'm just lifting it lightly, really lightly here and there with a wet baby wipe. And then I just dried it off with my heat tool and I kept the heat tool quite a ways away from the page throughout because I didn't want to risk bubbling up that crackle paste um, by getting it too hot. So then that, that page was done and I really like it. Okay, then it was time to add the color, the top color, to the Josanya side. So, in fairness, I'm using the exact same ratio of heavy body acrylic and Payne's Gray with matte medium. And just applying it to the page that I put the Josanya crackle medium on. unsticking my pages that stuck together. So I'm just kind of using a crisscross motion throughout most of this just to get down in. These were pretty fine cracks so I found that that worked best to get down into the areas where the cracks were. And get less of a directional look I probably could have gone with straight acrylic and then wiped it back and that would have worked as well but I wanted to do the same thing on both pages just to get a good comparison between the two crackle mediums so I wanted to use the same um, method of putting the color on top of the medium. did exactly the same thing to try to kind of soften back some areas and give a broken paint effect with the damp baby wipe. And again, I like this page too. When it dried, it was almost like fine old crackled leather. Um, I think I would like it a lot if I really wanted it to look like leather to use like a burnt sienna or a burnt umber as the under color and then a darker color on top so there you can see how fine those cracks are it's more of a crack allure type of a crackle but really really awesome I really like it so I like both of these. I think they both would have a place uh, depending on the look that you're going for and the kind of artwork that you want to put on top of it. But I'm glad that I did this. I'm glad that I was patient enough to wait for the golden to dry now. If I do it again, I may just let it sit overnight and see if maybe more forms crack. Or if it's the same, then I'll know that three hours is sufficient. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching my experimental background techniques. If you do it yourself, let me know how it goes. And if you try a different crackle medium, maybe you'll get different results. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and 
maybe share this video with a friend. Give it a thumbs up. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye. Thank you.